What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Bit of a surprise. I know that I don't usually do stuff like this, but did it for when Don't Know did its rebranding, so I thought I might as well do it now. Um, we actually recorded Strange Cast for context. So me and Adam have already recorded it. It should be coming out Wednesday, hopefully. Could be back, pushed back to Thursday, but we would already recorded it. And then, obviously, as some of you might know, if you've seen the thumbnail, seen the title, seeing the news in general, something quite surprising happened. Reached out to Adam and I said, you know, I wanted to kind of record with him just to kind of get a segment into that podcast, but he's busy and completely understand that. So I've kind of decided to just do this as a little accompanying video for my reactions on what's just happened. Um, we will probably cover it more extensively in Strangecast. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I'm just kind of giving my two cents as to the news that's happened. And <laughs> yeah, it, it threw me by surprise. So obviously for context, life is strange to is coming to Nintendo Switch. Like, I don't know if I'm going to put it in the title, but hell has officially frozen over for Square Enix to put Life is Strange to in the news. Um, very surprising. I'd been out, I'd come home. And the way I found out was I was basically on YouTube and in my YouTube suggestions on the, through the algorithms, it showed me Life is Strange 2, the thumbnail that they put on the Life is Strange Twitter, um, Life is Strange YouTube video. And I was like, hang on a minute. I was like, I don't know if this is, is this new? Is this not? Read the title, I was like, oh my word. I was like, Life is Strange 2 is coming to Nintendo Switch. So it shook me a little bit. I was like, very surprised by that. So just to quickly give you a breakdown, if you are just new here and you've, um, if you, you haven't been keeping up with the news or anything, and if you are new here as well, please do drop a subscribe, like, share with your friends and comment. We're slowly climbing to a thousand subscribers. It'd be really helpful. And I cover majority Lee Life is Strange content. So you can stay tuned with us. We have two podcasts, Life After Strange, and Strange Cast, I'll share more of those later. But anyway, so I'm going to Game Rant. They announced that Life is Strange 2 Nintendo Switch port announced. So they wrote, Life is Strange 2 has been announced for a Nintendo Switch release. During the last generation, one of the biggest new IPs to achieve breakout success was Don't Nod Entertainment and Square Enix is Life is Strange, an episodic narrative adventure series. Last year, Square Enix brought the original Life is Strange and Life is Strange Before the Storm to Nintendo Switch through the Life is Strange Arcadia Bay collection, followed by the latest entry, Life is Strange True Colors. Now Life is Strange 2 is finally joining them with a Nintendo Switch release. Yes, love to see it. Love Life is Strange 2. Life is Strange 2 was first teased in 2018 with the release of the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit, which revealed the setting and characters for the game before it was officially announced. Life is Strange 2 is set in the same universe as the original game. However, it focuses on two new characters, uh, Sean and Daniel. As they are forced to escape the law after their father is murdered during an instance of police brutality. Um, much of the gameplay focuses on making uh, moral choices that influence Sean's ability to protect his younger brother, Daniel, as he learns to control his telekinetic powers. So, and that's just for context, if, you're, if you haven't played Life is Strange, I'm not going to spoil anything, but, you know. Uh, Square Enix has announced that Life is Strange 2 will be following its predecessors with the Nintendo release on February 2nd, 2023. The game is currently confirmed for a digital-only release, meaning that it's, it is unlikely to see a physical release like Life is Strange 2 Colors. Many view Life is Strange 2 very separately from the rest of the series due to its themes of brotherhood, racial discrimination, and politics in modern North America. Despite this, Life is Strange 2 is every bit as emotionally powerful as its predecessor and currently remains the longest entry in the series, taking 16 to 18 hours to beat. I don't know if it's that long. I'm pretty sure I've finished it a lot earlier than that. Anyway, the game is a major technical leap ahead of its predecessor, Life is Strange Before Storm, meaning this Nintendo Switch port will likely see graphical downgrades um, putting it more in line with True Colors' Nintendo Switch version. Very true. Um, could be that. We'll, we'll, swap, we'll talk about that a bit more. Life is Strange 2 Nintendo Switch release brings the entirety of Square Enix's narrative adventure series to the handheld slash console uh, hybrid, making it more likely that the next entry comes to the platform at launch. While it isn't known where the Life is Strange series is going next, given Deck 9 and Square Enix's split before the release of Life is Strange True Colors, it wasn't a split, it's contracted, I hate phrasing like that. Anyway, it seems that the series is in Deck, hands, is ha Deck 9's hands moving forward, so big reaction, not, not, not like a huge amount, the trailer's out on YouTube, it's less than a minute long, it has, <coughs> it has the, it just has footage from the game. So, one of the things, obviously, to remember as well, like the Life is Strange remaster collection that we got, very divisive for a lot of people. That was the, that's the only way you can play Life is Strange One and BTS on Nintendo Switch. But it's obviously the the remastered version with facial upgrades, lip syncing, etc. So that's that. This just looks like it's just a straight port of 
Don't Know Entertainment's game back from uh, 2018. So straight port, no changes like lip syncing or anything. Seems like that way from what I can tell. They didn't seem to big it up beyond that. But just a big surprise, as I said, like I've, me and Adam have always spoken on the podcast. We always think that Square Enix has um, a very different perception on Life is Strange too, as you've seen the article I just read as well. Again, it, was, it, it, it shows how divided it was among many people. I spent many years in the, uh, in the industry and covering Life is Strange. And I know very much that Square Enix has different views compared to other people. And just from what I've, who I've talked to, what I've, what I've found, sourced. I know it's a very um, dividing entry, but very happy to see it has some kind of recognition of it. Just one thing to say, I'm kind of like a little bit, you know, disappointed with how they did it as well. Like it might be, sound like I'm doing a little bit of a moan here, but you know, I thought they could have had more time to do this. Like they could have announced it at the beginning of January and got ahead because, you know, there's a second February release date that we have for that. So that will bring us to, we're recording now at the minute, Monday, 23rd of January. That will come out next, next uh, Thursday. So it's the beginning of the month of February, but it's like, it's such a small window. I thought you could have given it a little bit of more promotional. Again, not, I get it. It's not a remastered collection. It's not like the um, Arcadia Bay collection. So you don't necessarily have to push it out to loads of people, but even just a little bit more time to kind of like send it out. It's just kind of like just being announced left flank. Um, so I'm kind of like, I'm kind of a little bit divided on that. I feel like it should have had a bit more focus. As I said, Life is Strange 2 just doesn't seem to get the attention it deserves. I've always recommended to people, always suggested that I think people will enjoy it more when they're at a certain point in their life. I think you... It, I can kind of see if you didn't like it, then I think when you play it again at some point, you might appreciate it more. I was just kind of hooked on it from the beginning. And um, my kind of example is Adam, you know, Adam played it uh, many years later and he seems to have kind of like changed his view and warmed up to it. And I think it's just one of those kind of games, but I'm kind of happy that's being introduced to a new audience. I don't think it's going to cost a huge amount to kind of get it on Switch. A big one as well, as I said in the article, we now have all Life is Strange games on Nintendo Switch. So, that, and and I agree with them as well. The likelihood is that the next Life is Strange game, whichever it is and whenever it's made and wherever it's released, it will likely be released on Nintendo Switch as well at launch. Um, surprising news is obviously is that it's not got a, well, surprising or least surprising, it's not got it's not got a physical release and I don't think it will ever get a physical release. <laughs> I know my other, some of my other predictions have aged badly, badly compared to this, but I don't personally see this getting a physical release um we've already talked about the remaster collection if you buy the remaster collection on switch you get um bts on the copy i believe and a uh, download code for life is strange one it's it's something like that just off the top of my head there's no not both games are, are, are on the cartridge so it's kind of like diminishes the second hand value of that game straight away but you know it, it's a shame that it's not on on a physical release but it's uh, for me if anything i'm very happy that it's released digitally because it means that you can play life is strange 2 now on the go and um yeah it's just, it's just kind of a good thing i'm not sure if this ever got released on ios devices um life is strange 2 i know the other ones did but ps4 ps3 uh pc ps4 and xbox one no so that's really good though so basically it means now we have a life is strange 2 game which you can take on the move because life is strange 1 bts the others they were all released on um ios devices or you know on the switch so you can kind of take them and it felt like life is strange 2 was kind of like landlocked onto the switch so these are my only my early thoughts on it very excited about them just doing this i imagine adam will be picking up on nintendo switch he'll give you a kind of his full breakdown of what happens i do see potential downgrades happening in terms of graphics and fidelity we know what the nintendo switch's powers like and life is strange 2 is not necessarily the most powerful game but i, I still see potentially some kind of like blips here and there um, happening with it but just happy just happy to see it like that i'd love to see life is strange one and bts's original incarnations be released on switch as well it'd be quite nice to have that as well so you have the original versions not just the remastered collections but really really great to see this and um very happy to see it as well so this is just a quick reaction video i just kind of want to share my own two cents on it we'll as i said we'll speak about like a lot more i think there's a lot more said between me and adam on this subject um but uh, you know as, as you'll see in the strange cast episode uh, coming up I was sat there kind of like being like, we only got a couple of news pieces, you know, it's not, it's not, I think it might have been like one or two actually, but it was like, you know, there's not much news, but we'll just do this. And it's like, it's only an hour long ish of an episode. So I thought, you know what, let's get a video out here on my channel. So you can kind of just let me know what you think. If anything, just let me know if I know a lot of people like life is strange to you. I know a lot of people don't like it. Um, either way, I'd like to hear your opinions in the comments. You know, people who do comment on that. I do see your responses. I do see your comments as well. Always try and reply. But it'd be interesting to hear what you think of it. Did you really, were you really shocked by it? Because as I said, I was kind of like literally like draw dropped. I was like, I could not believe 
Life is Strange 2 was coming to Switch. And I was like, this is unbelievable. Like the thing, not on my bingo list of things, this would have not been on there. Not a chance. Um, but as I said, exciting nonetheless. Either way, won't keep rambling. Um, thank you for tuning in. If you did enjoy as well, as I said, please drop us a subscribe, like, share with your friends, turn on notifications. I know people come to this channel. We cover a lot of Life is Strange news, Don't Nod News, Deck 9. So it's kind of good to have you here as well. And we're slowly climbing to 1,000 subscribers. We're just about 16 off, I think, round about that. I haven't checked last time, but not that far off. As I said, I host a podcast with Adam called Strangecast. It's our Life is Strange fan podcast. We have... We focus uh, bi-weekly on Life is Strange content, news. We try and keep you consume. We, we give you content to consume whilst Life is Strange is going through like these periods where you don't get a lot of news or new games. And also I run another podcast called Life After Strange, which features uh, one-on-one interviews with actors from the series. We've had over 30 episodes. We've had 30 actors plus on there, I believe. I believe 31. God, my mind's frazzled a little bit. We've had a lot of actors on there. It's currently... Um, we haven't had an episode yet in 2023. I am working on it. I promise you. I've been, I'm trying to contact someone now. So we hopefully, you know, in February, we have our first episode back. But nonetheless, as I said, we have those episodes and we also have other stuff that I've made throughout since I've launched this channel. So if you are new here, do drop us a subscribe. It'll help. Um, it'll help me out. Either way, thank you for joining us. As I said, let me know in the comments what you think. And also uh, stay tuned for Strangecast. It will be out later this week. Take care, guys. See you later. Thank you.